If I'm going to back up and think about community and journey thing, um, the, the main thing I, I want to say is that for me as a writer, there has always been a deep element of shame along with my desire to, to write. Um, I just wouldn't be telling the truth if I got up here and didn't acknowledge that. Um, I think it's because we do that people don't really know what we're doing. And so if somebody calls up and says, what did you do this morning? And you're like, well, I worked. There's a silence, because they don't know what that means. We don't know what it means by the <laughs> um, And when I was young, my mother certainly encouraged me to be a writer, but I don't think she knew what it meant either. And I know my father didn't know what it meant. Um, so as, as I got you know, older, and I, I went to college, and there was a professor that I had told I wanted to be a writer, and he was very nice about it. Um, who knows why, but he was. And, but he did say to me, you know, when you leave here, nobody's going to care if you write again, which was true. So about the time I was leaving college, um, I was still young enough to say when people asked me that question, well, now what are you going to do? Basically, you just spent your parents' money, what are you going to do? And I would say, I want to be a writer. And that stopped really quickly because people looked at me um, with such embarrassment. Yeah. And they looked at my parents with embarrassment. Um, and my parents looked embarrassed. And, and it was just um, not worth going through. It was, it was as though I were leaking something. <laughs> It was like my, my grandiosity was incontinent. Um, and I, I actually remember the last time I said this, I actually started to write a book. And I, I, you know, I probably had enough wine to tell this particular woman. And it was at some long party, and she took me aside, and she took me by my elbow, and I can still feel it. And she said, you know, nobody ever succeeds at that. <laughs> and I said, I know that. I mean, I can't, you, think, you think aspiring writers don't know that? <laughs> we know that. That's not why we do it. We do it because we have to do it. But anyway, so for years and years and years, my writing was something that was done with a furtiveness and with a sense of shame. Um, so, it really wasn't until I moved to New York and very gradually began to get acquainted with some people through a writing class that I realized, oh, other people aren't ashamed of this. 
other people want to do this. They even talk about it. <laughs> they even read each other's work. And, and so I, it took me a very long time because of the solitariness of my nature and because of my mother to allow myself into that. But it was an enormous shift in the way that I viewed writing in a way um, that I think I viewed the community of writers. And, and gradually, finally, with, with um, a publication I was I was able to meet other writers who had spent their lives going through what I had been going through. Um, and it was just an enormous relief. And so as I was thinking about, you know, this this business of, of Grub Street creating a, a community, it's like, oh, get out. Um, <laughs> I, I realized, I was thinking about, there's a, 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 I had the good fortune a number of years ago to, with another um, operation, I was going to say this, but <laughs> to, to meet a few writers. And um, just recently, I was on the phone to, who's now an old friend, and I said, um, we were talking about writing, and I said, you know, but I, I don't know. I said, you know, I'm going to the page, and I have no confidence at all. And he said to me, Liz, I've known you for years now. You've never had any confidence. <laughs> you've done all right. <laughs> It was huge. It was huge for me. It was exactly what I needed to hear. So thank God for groups and friends and people who write and people who know writers and people who support writers. So thank you for your generosity and help to spread.